Welcome back to another episode of the Switch Survival Guide. Hmm, pardon my snacking. Today, we are going to show you how to use pins on the map and how to use the map to find your location because we're about to go exploring and we don't want to get lost and have trouble finding our way back to our base. So uh, I had a question in my comments earlier from a user, Manon Tenuison. Sorry if I got your name wrong. And uh, it was a very good question and I realized I should probably address this. So I'm going to show you how to use the map if you're server settings allow that and how to enable that if your map isn't working the way you want it to. I'll also help you use the obelisks and the surroundings to figure out which direction you're going and help you find your way back to your base if you get lost while you're being chased around by a dinosaur or while you're out exploring. So hopefully this will be helpful for all of you explorers out there and uh, save you a lot of time when you're trying to find your way back to your base. So the first thing we need to do is actually adjust the settings if we're playing on a single player game. So yours might have a different layout, but it's under general settings and towards the bottom is a checkbox for show map player location. Now you need to have that check enabled have to make sure that's checked and it will actually show a triangle or a pin on your map wherever you are standing at the current time, which is really helpful. So right here I am in my game and if I'm on switch and I hit the minus button, I'm pretty sure it's the minus button guys, it is going to pull up the map and as you can see I now have a little triangle indicating where I am and which direction that I'm facing. Yours might just be a pin, it is on PS4, which may not tell you which direction you're facing, but we'll show you some ways to figure out which direction you're heading later on. So uh, right here as you can see my map actually displays where I am and if I hold down the left trigger it's actually going to zoom it a little bit closer so I can see it better. And you can kind of see in the background I'm up at the end of this little peninsula and you can see that on the map. Now I want to mark the location of my base and to do that I hit the Y button and that pulls up this pin thing. Now if you remember graphing in math class this is going to be a lot like that to use latitude and longitude. So the left side is the latitude going from 10 to 90 and the right side is longitude and you can see I'm at about 75 so about halfway between the 70 and the 80 on the left hand side is about where my triangle is so I punch that in and then the bottom is the longitude and I'm at about 37 on the longitude side and you can just kind of estimate that as best you can so I'm gonna punch in 75 37 and for me I can adjust the pin color you may not be able to do that but uh, I'm gonna probably set that to about a green because that's gonna be my home base which is my main base for right now now I can punch in a name for that too and uh, once again we are punching in going down from the top left of latitude we're gonna hit 75 and on the bottom going towards the right we're at 37 and I'm gonna set this as my cliff home base and yeah we'll just say cliff house it's a little easier so then I'm gonna hit accept and it's actually going to create a pin with the label on it on my map yours may look a little different but you can see me and cliff house both labeled clearly on the map and that's gonna make it a lot easier to figure out where we are. So from here, we can actually determine which direction we need to go using the map and find our way back to our house, which will be incredibly helpful. Now, if I want to remove a pin, I can just go up to this remove bar and then click on it or select it and then hit remove and that's going to make that pin disappear. Now you can do this with any location on the map and as we discover more of the map you can see I can see the shape of this little peninsula where I've explored so far but that's all I can see on the map but as we explore more we're going to be revealing the entire map every time we go into an area you can actually see the landscape there so that will make it much easier to find things. So let's say your server does not actually have that enabled if you're playing online you do not have the options to set settings like that so another thing that's really helpful if you don't have a map that can work 
is you can just use your landscape to kind of get an idea of where things are and help you find your way back to your base. So I spawned on this default starting zone, which is on the end of this long peninsula, and it's actually really easy to spot that peninsula on the map or from a long distance. I've got my house built on a cliff, and I know that to the west of my house is a nice open meadow. To the north of my house is a forest, and further north of that is actually a swamp. So if I hit the swamp, I know I'm too far north. And then to the east is a river at the bottom of a cliff. So if I hit the river, I know I've gone too far east. So even if I totally lose my bearings in the forest here, I can get an idea of what my surroundings are and use that to head back towards where my house is. Now, it's great to have a very prominent, easy to spot house, but if you're on PVP, you wanna hide your house. So be sure to use these tips to find your way back. Now you can see in this direction, I can actually see the red obelisk. Now those are actually great for finding where you are. So here is a picture of a map from arcwiki.com, which is an amazing site. And you can see at the top left is blue, bottom left is red, and the middle right is uh, green. So we know that those are the locations of the obelisks. And anytime we can see the red obelisk in the sky, if we head in that direction, we're going to be heading southwest. And uh, as you can see on the map here, I can't even see any of this stuff, but I know the red obelisk is around here in the southwest. The blue obelisk is in the northwest. And then the green obelisk is way out here to the middle of the map on the east. Now, if I look in that direction, I can see the red obelisk really clearly, but if I look towards the east, I can actually see the top of the blue obelisk barely poking up over the trees. So most of the time you can at least spot one of the obelisks and get a general idea of where you are. So there's that obelisk I'm looking at, and you can see it's really far away. So that can actually help you a lot to get an idea of which direction you're facing and how far away you are from the corners of the map. Those are basically on the very edge of the island anywhere you see them so that's going to be real helpful now another thing you can do is actually use the sun to tell east and west so right now it is afternoon and in the afternoon the sun sets in the west so it's going to be more in the western direction so I can see there's more light in that direction and then if you look at the shadows the shadows are actually pointing towards the east so shadows will always point due east and I can actually use the shadow as a line to point directly in the eastern direction. Now a tree like the one right in the middle of my screen, you can see its shadow just makes a nice straight line and it's like an arrow pointing directly east. So in the afternoon, shadows point east and in the morning, shadows point west. So I really hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and if it was, please like and subscribe to this channel and we will keep bringing you more great guides for ARC on the Switch. Thanks so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. ARK is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There is a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.